Okay, so this is the first example problem of calculating thicker walled pressure vessels like piping, drums, headers. And in this one, we're going to calculate the thickness of a drum. Okay, so we're going to be asked to calculate the minimum required thickness of a welded boiler drum having an inside diameter of 1.5 meters. Um, the drum welds are finished flush with the surface of the plate. Uh, the drum plate is carbon steel SA516-65, and the metal temperature doesn't exceed 250 degrees Celsius. The MAWP is 4,500 kPa gauge, and the efficiency of the ligaments between the tube holes is 0.5. Okay, so let's make sense of this and solve our problem. So first thing that we want to do is we want to understand that we are calculating not a tube but a boiler drum so we want to make sure that we are going to the right section in our code okay and so in this case this is section 27.2.2 and piping drums shells and headers now the important thing is that we have four different equations and we have to make sure we choose the right one so we have equations based on thickness and we have equations based on pressure. And since we're finding the thickness, we're going to use one of the top two. The next thing that we want to make sure that we do is we want to choose the right equation out of those two thicknesses. And remembering that the important thing here is not that we have a diameter or a radius. The important thing is that we're either using outside measurements in the case of the diameter or inside measurements in the case of the radius. And so really the key thing that I want to go back to my problem and look at is yes, number one, I'm looking for my thickness, but number two, I've been provided with an inside dimension. And because I have my inside dimension, what that means is that I'm going to take the right hand side set of equations the thickness is the top one, so top right is what I'm going to use. And same process as I've done before. So T is equal to PR over SE minus 1 minus Y times P plus C. So double check my equation. Okay, I've got it. All right. Now I'm going to make a list of the things that I all the variables in my problem. So I'm going to need P, I'm going to need R, I'm going to need S, I'm going to need capital E, I'm going to need Y, and I'm going to need C. Okay. Let's see what we know from our problem. So my pressure, 4,500 kPa gauge. Gauge is good, kPa is not. So if I convert that to my correct units, 4.5 megapascals. My R value, and if I look back to my code, so my R is the inside radius of the cylinder. Okay, so in order to get my inside radius, so IR is going to be equal to the inside diameter divided by 2 and is going to be uh, 1.5 meters. I don't like meters. I like millimeters. So 1,500 millimeters divided by 2 and R is going to be 750 millimeters. Okay. S value we'll find out of our tables. I've been given an E value, so the efficiency wasn't given as a percentage, it was given as a decimal, and I'm going to leave it as a decimal. And then I have Y, which I'll have to find, and C as well. Okay, so let's find our S value. If we go and look at our materials, what I have is SA516-65. And it is a plate. And 
it is at 250 degrees Celsius. Okay, so if we bring up our code uh, book and we're going to scroll down to our material sections. Okay, so if we go through our first section of materials, uh, I do not see it. Okay, so we're going to go keep scanning down. And if we look at our next section, and if I scan down, I am close, um, but I don't see that grade 65. So 5, 16, 60, and 55 were in that last group. So hopefully we're lucky here. And if we scan down, it appears that I found it uh, here at line 31. So line 31, SA 516, 65, it is a plate and it doesn't have any restrictions on size or thickness. So that's good. So I'm going to remember 31, move down to the next grouping, and it says on this page, 31 says that it's allowable up to 454 degrees Celsius in terms of section one calculations. So that's a good thing. So keep going. Line 31 as I come across and where it aligns with 250 degrees, 128 is going to be my stress. And just confirm again, that is an MPA. Okay, so I have an S value of oops, 128 MPA. So now I need to find my Y value and my C value. Okay, so I'll use my my table again. I guess here's the Y value table, so I'll just make use of that. Okay, so what we can see is that my temperature of 250 degrees is well below the table minimums, so everything is as, as a minimum 0 0.4. So without even looking at the material um, and finding out what type of material it is or even looking to see if it's specified, um, what I can see is that Y is going to be equal to 0 0.4. Okay. Last one is going to be C and C is going to be Here. Okay, so C was my note based on thickness and threads. Um, in this case, my drum does not have any threading and it hasn't said it needs any corrosion allowance or anything. Um, so in this case, I don't have to add anything for C and C becomes zero. Okay, at this point, what I'm doing is just going to be solving my problem. So T is going to be equal to P, so 4.5 times R, 750, divided by SE, so 128 times E, 0 0.5, minus 1 minus 0 0.4 times P, 4.5 plus C, which is zero. Thickness is going to be, and again, do this in a few steps. You wouldn't want to do all that work and then make a mistake punching it into your calculator. 3375 divided by 28 times 0 0.5, 64 minus 1 minus 0.4 times 4.5 minus 20 or 2.7. Okay, do that. 
seven. So T is going to be fifty five point zero six millimeters. <laughs>